Hey guys, it's Di from Organized with Style, and today I'm going to show you a quick repurposing project which I am working on. So I have this two-tier little shelving unit that used to be here in the playroom. I purchased this at Pier 1 a number of years ago. It actually is two separate units, so this top one can lift off. And I did have this on the bottom, the solid door part. So I, you know, like this piece for the fact that it's substantial, but it's just not really my style anymore the light wood and that sort of thing. So I was wanting to repurpose it for an area that I have a hole in my house, which I will show you where that is. So I got some of this Krylon Color Master Paint and Primer, and I'm gonna to try to just paint and prime this a nice cream almond color. And I'm hoping that it'll just kind of go more with the decor that I already have in the house. So directly next to the playroom is my family room, and this is the area that you kind of walk in here. And I have a hole right here on this wall where I could use an extra piece of furniture or, you know, need some more storage and that sort of thing right here between the kitchen and the family room. So right, basically right underneath this Happy Halloween sign. And I have been looking at purchasing different things, some things that are very in style, like, um, like wire baskets and things like that right now. Um, I was looking at shelving units that had those incorporated, and I thought, well, that's silly. I have a piece of furniture sitting there let's try to incorporate it I'm holding the spray can you can see it's at night um, let's try to incorporate you know what I already have so I thought that if I spray painted that it would maybe more blend with what I have going on here in this family room area which is grays and the wall is more of like a taupe color and that sort of thing and then going into the kitchen which is more like creams and greens and that sort of thing that it would blend more than that light wood which I really don't use in my house anymore so we're going to give it a go and see what I think of it and I'm going to try to redecorate this area. So here is the area that I'm hoping to repurpose that little dual sliding door piece of furniture into. So I'm going to try spray painting it and seeing if I like it in this space a little bit better. All right, so I have everything sitting outside and I taped off the handles over here to the side because I want it to get on the inside of the handle and not go all the way through onto the interior. So I'm just going to start spray painting and hopefully I will like it. I don't know. We'll see. And this stuff supposedly dries in 10 minutes or less. It's supposed to be very fast drying. And so I'm just spray painting away the different colors from a tree over there. And it's done pretty good appliquing. Um, there's one area over here I got a little bit too heavy handed. I don't know if you're going to be able to see or not. But it's running just a little bit where I got too heavy of a hand. But overall it's going on pretty evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side over here and then the front. Alright, and this one is totally coated. I have a couple areas where I got a bit too heavy handed and it's running down. So I'm hoping that kind of evens out. But overall, I do like the color. It's a little bit more cream like than This is what the cap looks like. So it may dry a little bit darker. But we'll see. I'm liking the color so far. Well, I'm about halfway through the project and I ran out of spray paint, so there's the moral of the story. Always buy more than you need and have some extra on hand. So I'm either going to have to text my husband and see if he can pick me up some more on his way home from work, or after the kids wake up from nap, we'll go run and grab some more. So for now, I'm going to have to leave it like this. I got this whole um, container done, so this one is done. And I got the majority of this one done, but it ran out right when I was doing the front, of course. So it's probably like the absolute worst place <laughs> for it to run out. Um, but we shall see. I mean, it seems like a color that will blend really well. So I'm hoping it shouldn't be too big of an issue. So I'm about midway through the project. And yes, it is nighttime out here. So I just did a little finishing coat with these two. And I will show you tomorrow what they look like. So here is what it looks like at night. So we'll take a look at it tomorrow and see what it is looking like. And... If it's going okay, I will start loading up my craft supplies in this. So this is going to be my craft storage area. I kind of needed a spot to kind of corral all my wreath supplies and things like that. So, And the things for the yarn wigs. So that is where I'm planning on putting everything is in this. So here is the painted cabinet and the spot it is going in. And I just touched up a couple spots around the glass. So I'm going to touch up the glass in just a second. But I um, wanted to get a little bit more paint on there before I start putting things in there. So this is what it looks like here on this side of the room. And I do like it a lot better with it painted. I just feel like it blends in more with the decor and everything. So I will show it after I get it all loaded up with all of my craft items. 
All right, and here's what the finished product looks like here in the spot. And I'm going to be getting some matching baskets, hopefully three across to hold crafts here at the top. Then I just have miscellaneous memories and extra craft things down here. So this is going to become my craft station. And I will share in a video in the future when I get this completed. But this is basically what it's going to look like with some different baskets here in the center for craft and candle storage. And then down here, I just have some additional craft and in this extra memory storage down there and I really like the look at this a lot better than the light wood. I'm so glad that I decided to paint this. I just feel like it goes in the space a lot better when it's this color. So up here on the top I just put a runner and I'm going to be printing off some pictures of the girls and putting them in these two and then I just have a little decorative basket up here for right now that just has my little autumn scent from Bath and Body Works and my keys in there. So for right now this is what it looks like and I will share in an updated video once I get the baskets for the bottom. So thanks so much for watching and have have a great day.